Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory, and as you can tell by the title, the thumbnail, and the smile on my face, today is a very, very big day. So, I wasn't actually planning on getting this Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade until later on in the week, because also today, in the second video that you guys are going to see, we're going to be finishing up the Spotlight Sim Historics, so we're going to be getting Galaxy Opal Hakeem and Gilbert Arena. So, that was meant to be today's video. Dwayne Wade was meant to be coming tomorrow, but they released that locker code yesterday, the Kevin Love one, uh, and that had the guaranteed heat check pack on it, or the deluxe heat check pack, and that's made heat checks a lot cheaper, which of course is slightly annoying because I've spent like the last week buying them for, I don't know, a higher price than I would have been would have had to pay for them right now. But um, yeah, it meant, meant I can pick up the rest of those. I've completed the heat check collection pretty much now, and that has put us past Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade, which is insane. So I'm going to give you guys a bit of a rundown of how much I've spent on him, or how much I've paid to get here. You're going to see how we're going to get to Anthony Davis because, let me tell you guys, it's not going to be easy. Uh, we've got 600k in the bank at the moment and I don't think that would be enough on its own to get to him, but we will see. And then we'll go ahead, have a look at his shoot around, have a look at his hot zones, take a look at his stats badges and then go into a couple of games of TTO with him and see how he plays. Before we jump into it, I am streaming later on today, but you guys will have already seen that because this video will come out live after the stream but it's probably going to be another incredible stream so thank you guys in advance for turning out to the stream and shout out to the five mvps of the channel before we jump into the video heisenberg panda hakeem jeno and anson there we go my memory is okay shout out to you guys and if you do want to get involved with the channel there's a little join button down below or there is a top link of the description and a bit more self promo i actually started an instagram um literally just yesterday um i wasn't planning on like announcing it but a couple of you guys asked for it so i did it um my username on instagram is jd underscore crossover one uh, we're already over 100 followers which is awesome so shout out to everyone who has come over to be part of the instagram crew right let's jump into today's action so the limited type event today is it's whatever um like it's okay because obviously we'll do some of the spotlight challenges during those time spans but not incredible at all um agenda is neither here nor there nothing crazy at all um, so for the spotlight challenges today, I've actually already done one of them, uh, which is the normal historic, not normal, not historic, just the normal spotlight sims. We've done the bucks, so now we're going to have to start on those because I am keeping the historic one, the final historic one, which we've got to do, which is the Raptors over here for Bagnani. We're going to get through these four games on stream. So on stream, I will be doing the final game for the historic sim. And then it is all about the, the normal sims. Uh, which is going to take so long. Thankfully, I've already got a couple of games, uh, a couple of teams that have done the first game, but it's still going to be a long old grind. But um, we are actually going to keep the Lakers for last. We're going to keep JaVale McGee till last, because obviously then we'll do the Lakers as a final team to get Galaxy Opal Kobe, and that just fits perfectly. So that's going to be awesome, and we are still on track for May the 18th, which is my birthday, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Got one bid at the moment on a Terry Rosier. I'll just make sure I um, go ahead and get him. Uh, I will come back and talk about the collector level in a second. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Heat checks completed, basically. We haven't got Kawhi or Bron because they are very expensive. Uh, and then Terry Rozier, as you saw, I've just got a bid on him. And that is it. That is every card in the game, which is absurd. Um, as you can see, we've not only hit Dwayne Wade, we've already flown past Dwayne Wade. 2,826 cards. We are only 74 away from the GOAT tier, from Anthony Davis, which is absurd. Um, so just to give you guys a quick little rundown of um, what we've got in the collection, I will do a video when I hit Anthony Davis talking about exactly how much I paid for each tier of each card from each collection. Um, but of course, that's going to take quite a while to break down everything. Um, but yeah, we've completed the normal um, NBA series. We did that a long, long time ago. From Series 2, we have got every card apart from Bron and Kawhi. And then apart from Giannis, and then the silver Carl Corver because of DBG's video. I made him go up to like 10k, so I cashed in on him. So Carl Corver will be one card that can come back into the club for relatively cheap. Um, heat checks, like I said, got all of those now, which is crazy. Considering last week we had genuinely none, that uh, we've got all of those already is madness. Moments cards, we've got a couple. We've only got the cheap ones. We've got a ruby. We've got a couple of diamonds if they're not too expensive. We've got all the amethysts, I believe, apart from Kobe White because he's 30k, and I'm not going to pay that. Uh, another diamond. A few more diamonds. Again, not really spending too much on these cards. So far, I don't think I've spent more than like 20k on any card, um, but I might be wrong on that. We will check. Um, and then obviously reward section. This is where you get so many cards, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you haven't done domination, there is you're not going to get them. 
you are not going to get to AD or Dwayne Wade. And if you haven't done the spotlights either, chances are you're not going to get there. And again, if you haven't done the historic and the normal spotlights, it's going to cost you a lot to get there. So obviously these 30 cards that we're going to get for the historic or the normal spotlight sims, they're going to help us big time on the way to Anthony Davis. Um, and you could have got to Dwayne Wade without them. But you could have done it without the spotlights, without some TTO rewards, without all of this domination stuff. All of this stuff here all comes from domination. Um, same as these 38 players as well. There's no way you would have done it without these cards. There is no way. Uh, and obviously these are all the token reward cards that I picked up. So just to show you guys what I did from that. So I picked up all of the emerald, all the sapphire, all ruby, all amethyst, and then all the diamonds as well. Which were a little bit expensive. They um, cost me like 900 tokens to get all of those. Which in hindsight was maybe a little bit of a mistake, but um, if it saves us some MT down the line, then I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, just be prepared that um, you're going to have to have played a lot, a significant amount of offline content this year to actually get to these rewards. Let me come over to the premium content, and uh, I've just got the majority of cards that aren't pink diamonds and aren't really, really expensive. I think every card I was paying like a maximum of 10,000 MT for, a lot of them I was getting for a lot cheaper. Um, obviously, like the, the spotlight players here. Um, so sort of like the golds, the emeralds, sapphires, rubies, paying like one to two, one to one to four thousand MT for them. Some of them are a little bit rare. Um, moments of the week cards, some of them were pretty expensive, but again, trying not to spend more than about five thousand MT on the majority of them. And then amethysts were about ten thousand MT. Um, and yeah, there's still loads of cards we don't have. Like buzzer beaters, only got the one pink diamond, which is Sam Cassell because he's new, only cost me fifteen k, which wasn't bad. So there's still a lot of cards that we need to buy. Um, obviously, we don't have any of the glitch cards because they are ridiculously expensive. Uh, and Spotlight Sims, there's still loads of these we don't have. Obviously, again, majority of them are pink diamonds, but some of them aren't too expensive. Um, so we could get up to Anthony Davis, but it would cost us a lot of MT. We've obviously got every single uniform in the game. And then down here, we have got every single uniform again down here, uh, every single basketball, every single arena, playbook, logo, and then every coach apart from three, Steve Kerr, Terry Stotts, and Mike Malone, because they are so, so expensive. It is ridiculous. Terry Stotts is like 30k. I'm not paying that for a coach. So that is how we have got to where we are with 2,826 cards. And of course, that means... That means collector level Dwayne Wade is ready. Now, I'm a little bit annoyed that I already clicked on him. Um, obviously, when you click onto the collector level, when you hit 2800 cards, it gives you the congratulations screen. I actually did that by mistake and I clicked through it, so I didn't even see it myself, which was so annoying. But of course, we do get the pack and we do get to see Dwayne Wade walk out. I think he has 60 Hall of Fame badges, or it might be 51 actually, I can't remember. But shooting guard from the heat. Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. I cannot believe we've got here. I think in total, I can't even I can't even remember if I've actually told you guys how much it cost me. I think it's about 4.4 million MT. I think all in all, from where we were, um, which was 9, 930 cards, I believe, when we started collecting. Um, so we've gained nearly 2,000 cards, and I think that has cost us about 4.4 million MT. When we get to AD, that's at least going to be 5 million MT, I would imagine. So 5 million MT, guys, can get you to Anthony Davis. But you've got to bear in mind, you've got to be incredibly patient. You're not just going to go out and buy things for a buyout straight away. You've got to do bids. You've got to bid on a lot of things. You're going to get out bid on a lot of things. It's going to get very frustrating, but it will be worth it in the end. Because oh, I was completely wrong. 59 Hall of Fames and 2 Golds. Oh, man. Twain Wade, Galaxy Over. Look at that face as well. That is a mean face. Shooting guard, point guard, six foot four, 59 Hall of Fame badges, and two gold. What does he have at gold? Um, he has got bailout and deep fades. Fair enough. And then I'm not going to read out the um, Hall of Fame badges. He's got everything. Well, he hasn't got everything, but he's got everything you would want in an offensive player. And again, with the defensive um, capabilities as well. I think I saw a rebound chaser in there. Um, stats wise, <laughs> wow. 99, I mean everything, 90 post hook, 98 three pointer and 90 standing dunk. Three stats that aren't 99, passing 99, defensively 99 is apart from interior D, rebounding 95. Oh, everything apart from strength is 99 and then all the mental stats 99. I did not realize this card was this good. That is ridiculous. I don't even need to put a diamond shoe on it. What can I put a diamond shoe on this card for? Like post hook or standing dunk, completely irrelevant. Maybe boost his rebounding a bit because why not? But oh my, what an unbelievable card. I cannot believe that. And if you guys want to get him, then yeah, 4.4-ish 4 .4 million MT. 
might be able to do it a little bit cheaper with the heat check cards having come down in price a little bit but I still think they are hovering at around that 3000 MT mark which to be fair was roughly what I was paying for the majority um, of mine as well uh, let's take a look here let's disable that um, so yeah about 3000 MT so still quite expensive um, realistically still going to cost you quite a bit I can't believe that and we are 73 cards away now from AD so just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of how we're going to get there we're going to get another two cards uh, from here tonight. We're going to get Barnyani and Gilbert Arenas. And we're going to get Hakeem over here. And we're going to get 27 more cards from the Spotlight Sim. We're then going to get the Kobe as well. So I think that's like 33 cards. 32, 33 cards, something like that. Uh, which is good. And that takes us down to needing about 40 cards. So I think we're going to have to spend big on 40 cards, which isn't that bad. If I have to buy 40 cards at 20,000 MT each, that's 800,000 MT. You know what, I'm pretty happy about that. We've got so many diamond shoes down here that we can sell uh, when we need to get some MT. So maybe we could do it with that 600k. Maybe we could. We've still got some Palga Souls we need to sell. We've still got our um, Galaxy Opal Palga Soul, actually. Has his price gone up at all? Let's have a look. Ooh, okay, 150 for that one. But it does have a diamond shoe and a diamond contract. But you know what, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get rid of that Palga Soul. Uh, where was he? He is not there. He is here. We'll get this um, Palgasol Palga sold, uh, and then with that money, that should put us up like over 700k quite easily. And then I think we're going to be just about enough to get AD, which is incredible. We might even have him by the end of the week. Of course, Friday, there should be a new promo. Hopefully, it is going to be something good. Um, but hopefully, more than anything, I hope that it's a 12-man set. Um, if we come down here, I think the last 12-man set we got was the Campus Legends set. So obviously this is great because these six cards were dirt cheap. So six cards straight away you can pick up for like a combined 15,000 MT, something like that, 10,000 MT. So cheap. But since then we've just had the fan favourites, which was a seventh card set, which was really expensive. That doesn't really help. Flash sets are only fives. Uh, prime sets only, um, who did we have? We had Granger and then uh, Odom and then Eddie Curry and George Weirasan. So that was only a six card set. So yeah, really need them to start dropping some 12 man sets if we are going to get AD hopefully in the next couple of weeks but anyway enough talking let's just quickly jump into freestyle let's make sure he is in the actual squad first that would probably help um let's just quickly go ahead and put someone in here doesn't matter who it is walter davis get out of the squad buddy Dwayne wade is here Dwayne wade is here it doesn't even matter about our coach he literally has everything 99 he doesn't need any boosts this card is really... I, honestly, I did not realise this card was this good. I knew the Anthony Davis was basically like 99s pretty much everywhere, but I thought this Dwayne Wade was like 95s and stuff, but um, apparently not. Apparently not. So there's no point checking his stats because he couldn't have got boosted anything, really. Uh, hot zones absolutely everywhere, as you would like to um, see. And uh, his release is obviously one of the best releases in the game. It does take a little bit of a while to get used to. I haven't used the Dwayne Wade card for a little while, um, but I know he is one of the best peak shooters in the game, of course. Um, coming off of that, that's, that is absolutely lightning quick. I've played against this card a couple of times, and it is deadly. Uh, if you guys remember back to the My Team Madness tournament uh, against Fat Boss, he had this Dwayne Wade, and he absolutely cooked me. He had the Anthony Davis as well, so realistically, I have Fat Boss to thank for where I am at right now, for where I'm at having Dwayne Wade, Galaxy Opal in the club, Honestly, I can't believe it. I genuinely cannot believe it. We're greeting quite a lot. That release is so nice. Let us go ahead and let's jump into some Triple Threat Online gameplay. And hopefully, we can have some good highlights. Alright, so we will run with Dwayne Wade, James Worthy and my Giannis card. Just because I like running with a Giannis card, not going to lie. Um, I really hope they do drop an Opal Giannis soon. Uh, I'm sure they will. They've dropped an Opal Bronze, so Giannis could only be around the corner. You never know. And yeah, I'm going to want to get that card in my squad. Because Giannis's this year are just so... So OP. The, the length is ridiculous. The hop step dunks are insane. And I just love using him. And I haven't used this card in quite some time. It's been an OG of the club. It's been around for so long. Uh, and this guy comes in with Mo Bamba, Zoe, and Clyde Drexler. So Zoe against Dwayne Wade. To be fair, Zoe is a very, very competent defender. Is he good enough to defend against the Flash? I'm not too sure. Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. Here we go. I probably should have put some um, Lakers jersey on. Lakers jerseys. Uh, not Lakers jerseys. Heat jerseys on. Okay, this guy is off-balling. Yeah, you really don't like to see that. So off-ball, you know what that means. Cross over and just go straight round and just take it all the way to the rim. Not going to get too many highlights if this guy's just camping in the paint. So fingers crossed he um, stops doing that pretty soon. But yeah, Dwayne Wade coming in at 6 foot 4. That's great defense. Look at that. Dwayne Wade with a rebound. Not quite. He does have the Hall of Fame um, rebound chaser. Like I said, I think he does anyway. 
Dwayne Wade with some nice defense right there. And we're going to come down here and we're going to take our first shot. And it is a green. Even though Zoe was kind of there, it didn't count as any sort of contest, which you love to see. Uh, and Dwayne Wade is uh, hitting his first shot in the club, as he should, as only is right. Um, that is, I thought it was a good defense, but not to worry, not to worry. All right, Dwayne Wade, let's see how you can do. That peak felt really, really good. Again, he's just got off ball, so hold that pause, my guy. Hold that pause. Oh, I thought he was gonna. Oh, I thought he was gonna absolutely slam it on him. Okay, well, it looks like we're just gonna have to pass out of some of these drives. Um, James Weather, get back. Great defense from Dwayne Wade. And look at the leap on him as well. That was really, really nice. I'm not, I don't really want to take that. He's jumped though. So let's get a bit of space. That's from deep. And that was probably a little bit too deep. <laughs> probably a little bit too deep on that one uh, for Dwayne Wade, which is fair enough. Oh, there we go. Dwayne Wade with the steal. You love to see it. And the quick little mid range. Good lad. All right. That was nice. That was a very quick little steal. He was in there. You could almost say like a flash. Uh, that was really bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> can we get a board here with Dwayne Wade? Yes, we can. All right, he's grabbing a couple of rebounds out here. Oh, we're wide open for three, Dwayne Wade. It's not green. Oh, we missed again. Okay, his release does take a little bit of time to get used to you guys, as I'm sure you are aware. But there we go. We come down, we peek on that one, and we get, yes, another green light to go. Good stuff. 12 points in this one so far for Dwayne Wade. Again, some really nice defensive... Some really nice defensive plays... 47% contested, apparently it doesn't matter. Okay, not to worry. Um, can we get a snatch back against the um, AI? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, why? Okay, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. We can so easily win. It's just boring, isn't it? Like, it's just boring. I really want to dunk on that Mo Bamba, um, but obviously I know it's going to be a little hard to do so. Um, Yanis for three. Yanis knocks down the shot. Good stuff, Yanni. And we are one possession away from getting the dub in this one. Hopefully we can get the three with um, Dwayne Wade to end it. That's such good defense. Look at that. 100%, 100 smothered. Um, it gets the rebound and bricks it again. Sucks to suck. Uh, Dwayne Wade for game. Bounce back. He hits it. All right. That was good. He felt really, really nice. It's so close to dunking on Mo Bamba, which would have been incredible. Definitely need to practice with this card. If you guys have used Dwayne Wade, you know his release is very quick and um, definitely has a little bit of a learning curve to it. But... I'm going to be using this card for the rest of the year. So I'm going to get a lot of practice with it. We are going to get better and better the more and more games we play. Bear in mind, that was genuinely my first game with him. Obviously, you just saw me pack him. So on first impressions, I'd say not too bad at all. So from the board right here, what board are we on? A two ball drop board, I think. Um, yeah, literally just game number four. Hopefully we can get those three tokens. That'd be nice. Um, okay, that's not where I wanted to drop it, but don't worry. And I think I think the um, Galaxy Open Kiki is still out on boards until Friday, I would assume, because they haven't taken him away just yet, I would assume he's on the board still Friday. So I really wouldn't mind going ahead and picking him up, to be fair, because it's a free Galaxy Opal. Like, I'm never going to turn that down. And it's another card uh, for the collection as well. Let's go. We get four tokens from... Okay, no, no, no don't worry, 2K. Don't worry at all. It just, it just did land in the green, but don't worry. I didn't want those extra tokens at all. Um, oh, actually... I have got a diamond contract awaiting for Dwayne Wade because I knew it was happening and you can see there's one other contract waiting right there and you can probably guess who that contract is waiting for. But Dwayne Wade, take a diamond contract. Eww, he's just so good. He deserves one. Even if I'm not going to play with him that much, which I am going to, he just deserves a diamond contract. And to be fair, I might just put a diamond shoe on him. I might just boost his rebounding to 98s. Because why not? It's the only thing he really needs boosting. Maybe a shooter boost his strength as well. Maybe the standing dunk. Because that's only a 90. Um, I don't know. I think a card that good just needs a diamond shoe on it. It just looks wrong if they don't have a shoe on it. Uh, when it is that good of a card. Right, let's see what squad my opponent is running with this game. As long as he on balls, I don't really mind. As long as we can try and cook him up a little bit. So we've got Chauncey Billups, KD and Donovan. So we'll be, guarding by, be guarded by Chauncey Billups. Who is a nice card. Um, but not quite the same defender as Zoe. So it should be a little bit easier. Let's see what Dwayne Wade can do in this one. All right, first possession. And he he thought about on-balling, and now he is going to on-ball, which is nice. Uh, we get wide open for the mid-range. Green light, first shot. I know a lot of people, I think the majority of people who have this, um, let's go Dwayne Wade. I think the majority of people who have this Dwayne Wade card play with the shot meter off. And I know I should play with it off, but that's another green. Um, I will practice with it more and more off, but at the moment I'm just grinding out these spotlight challenges, so I don't really have the time to um, practice that much. Uh, but I know that it will benefit me in the long run for, without using the um, shot meter. 
But two for two on green lights to start this game. Imagine if we go, oh, nice move. Fair play to this guy. That was nice. Imagine if I go perfect on green lights an entire game. That would be mad. And if anyone could do it, it's going to be this Dwayne Wade card. Here we go. We're going to try and go down here. We're going to stop this one for three, which he expected. Um, so I'll rate that. We're going to send him running to the rim for the alley-oop that he catches and then just lays up. You know what? It doesn't matter. It went in. I will take it. Ooh, we get the steal. Very nice. And we've got Dwayne Wade with a little bit of space. Ooh, <laughs> it's three for three on green light jump shots. Three for three. That should have been another steal. Very, very close. Um, that release is just so nice. And this car just feels so quick. Whenever he's moving, uh, whether he's with or without the ball, it just feels like a flash. I didn't want to say it. I shouldn't have said it. It just feels like a flash. It just does. He is that quick. This card is unreal. If you've got a spare 4.4 million MT, I would strongly recommend going ahead and getting this card. It's another green. That release is so, so good. Oh, man. What is that? Four for four on greens? I'm going to say, we'll see if we can go 12, uh, 12 for 12. We'll see if we can go the entire game uh, on it which would be kind of mad, not going to lie. There we go, that's another steal. You love to see it. And Dwayne Wade will try and get a bit of separation right here. We've got him up in the air. And we should have him up in there again. We do. And now he's coming down. Oh, no. I tried too much. Why don't I not just take that? I don't know. That was my bad. That was my bad. I'm trying to do too much. I'm trying to do too much with this Dwayne Wade card. I just don't want to take a shot on miss. Now I've got, I'm trying to go perfect on greens. Um, so let's see if we can go down here. I don't want to... It doesn't have to be just threes, but I will take the three... If it's open, that's another green light. And, uh, of course, he's got the Hall of Fame green machine. So, oh, that was very unlucky. He's got Hall of Fame green machine. So, as soon as he starts greening, it's very hard for him to stop. And with his takeover as well. Okay, don't worry. We'll go next possession. We'll go next possession. <laughs> All right, takeover time. Takeover time with Dwayne Wade. Um, obviously, I'm not the best dribbler in the world, which is why you're not seeing many um, incredible dribble moves. It's another green <laughs> Oh, I think that's 7 for 7 on green lights. 7 for 7 on green lights. I know it's Dwayne Wade, but still, you guys know my shooting. It can be a little bit irregular sometimes, or all the time. Um, are we going to get the shot right here to end it? Yes, we are. We're going to peek off that one. And it's an entire game of green lights from Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. Oh, my goodness. 6 for 6 from 3. 7 and 7 from the floor that wasn't layups. Oh my goodness, what have we just added to our club? I am so excited. And then tonight, guys, tonight we're going to be adding Galaxy Opal Gilbert Arenas as well and Galaxy Opal Hakeem. Oh man, the squad by the end of the week is going to look incredible. Absolutely incredible. But um, there we go, that's the first two games with Dwayne Wade. And my goodness, he is so much better than I thought he was going to be. In Unlimited, he's going to be a different breed, but Triple Threat Online, he's just going to absolutely destroy. That board is horrible, um, so let me get through this real quick. All right, there we go. We are out of that. Oh, my goodness. What? I am genuinely lost for words about this card. Genuinely lost for words after that. What incredible performances. I've never gone perfect on a game before. And Dwayne Wade does it in his second game of Triple Threat Online. Unbelievable. And the fact we are so close to AD is genuinely incredible. In fact, we've got 600k in the bank. We have got a Power Gasol ready to sell. With, ready to sell? That didn't make sense. Ready to sell. We've got this Power Gasol as well, which would probably fetch about 70k. 20 Nick Youngs, which we could sell if we needed to. Two Danny Mannings. And then in the club, in terms of expensive cards, the only really expensive card we've got is this Larry Bird. Um, and then we also have this Draymond Green. But that's it. Realistically, and he's selling for 150. That's that's nice actually. His price is going up, which I did expect it would. Um, but I don't really want to sell him just yet. Well, actually, I might go ahead and sell him because we're going to get Galaxy Opal Gilbert Arenas. But Drake could come off the bench. We'll keep him for the time being. But oh, loss for words, guys. Loss for words. So let's jump into a couple of comments before we get out of here today. So Zach comes in and says, Dwayne Wade or Jamal Crawford at the two guard? I assume he doesn't mean the Galaxy Opal one. I assume he means the Pink Diamond one. I would say Pink Diamond Dwayne Wade because that card is also absolutely incredible. Um, and Zeno, what shooting guard would you recommend to run a cheesy three-point based offense, 200k budget? You're looking at either Pink Diamond, Tracy McGrady, or Pink Diamond, Dwayne Wade, who seems to be a theme in this video. Duggan says, hey JD, I have 1,750 cards and a million MT. I have every set except the Historic East, and then I have Kobe. I'm not sure after that if I go for the collector level or just get Blake. Love the streams and the content. Thank you very much. With a million MT, that's not going to get you any anywhere near, buddy. Um, you need, uh, what was it? Was it three and a half million? I can't remember. 3.7 million, I think, got me to Sabonis. 
and then now it's like yeah 4.4.3 ish million got to um Dwayne Wade so obviously cars did get a little bit more expensive um so yeah four point and yeah i do think overall it'll be five million but that's just a guess at this point i should be able to get those remaining cards for about 20k but we shall see we shall see um joseph i have kobe and tracy mcgrady um should i sell tracy mcgrady and run with kobe and glenn rice from unlimited yeah i would do i would sell uh, tracy mcgrady there's no point in having 600k invested in him um when you get glenn rice who is arguably the same type of player well definitely the same type of player but arguably as good as if not better. I've um, heard a lot of people say he's very, very good. Uh, Maggio says, should I buy Eddie Curry before he's out of packs? Will he hold his value? I think he will hold his value because he's just an absolute demigod, isn't he? He's just an absolute demi. Um, where is he? He is in the prime set and Eddie Curry right here. Still about 100k. I think his price is probably going to stay around 100k for quite some time until they release another card that's similar to him, which might be quite a while, I would say, as a pretty safe player to have some money invested in. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade and like I said make sure you stay tuned for the second video of the day because that is going to be Galaxy Opal Hakeem and Arenas This account this week or over the last couple of weeks has just been an absolute madness We're going to add in Kobe as well in a couple of weeks Lost for words. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this game uh, this game this video Hope you enjoyed the game where we went perfect from the floor with Dwayne Wade and yeah, plenty more gameplay with this guy coming soon. So I hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.